One summer's day, Thomas and Percy were idling in the station when Bertie the bus arrived. What's up, motherfuckers? Said Bertie. The hell do you want, mate? Can't you see him busy doing fuck all? Asked Thomas. The flat controller's going through a phase again. Replied Bertie. If his head's in the clouds again, I swear to God. Said Percy. Why is he going on like after now? The reason was simple. It was Lady Hat's birthday and Sir Topham had a new outfit. I see you've got your birthday suit ready and all, said his wife. Why don't you give me a wee showcase, you sexy madman? Oh, fuck you, I'm hard, he replied. Right, whenever you're ready, love. Best birthday ever. Right, calm down, do fuck? I just want to get this over with so I can enjoy the Rangers match with the lads. Later that day, the fat controller had changed into his new suit. You're taking the piss, lad. We're going to miss the game for Christ's sake, said the station master. Fight me, lad. Agreed the fat controller. My engines are twatting about, so I'll have to drive. Are you blocked? Asked the station master. No. Said the fat controller. As he sped along, he suddenly saw a large hole in the road. He braked hard, but it was too late. Oh Jesus, fuck me life. I'm stuck up shit creek now. I dropped out of mechanical school as well, so I can't even replace the bloody hang. Just then, he heard Caroline. I'm out to get blocked watching the Rangers match in the kickoffs of four gone gizzard ride. Hop on, mate. But Caroline didn't like going fast. Oh fuck, lads, I'm too plastered as here. She ate me stomach's gonna blow. And it did. Oh, that felt good, boys, said Caroline sadly. Stupid bitch. Then he heard a loud whistle. It was George the Steamroller. George was cross when he saw Caroline. Two time of me with a shroom bastard, I see your ice slag. I thought you were special, but now I see you're like every other phallically minded Uyghur. Fuck me, now I have to go on to Jeremy Kyle to sort the shit out. Caroline spluttered in fury. Jesus cancelled your cunt. George's driver was more polite. Tender shite, then I what's a crack. I literally just want to go to the pub. Beside the fat controller. Ah, oh, that's the game, on it? Come on, I'll take you down. Cheers, mate. And they rumbled away. The fuck do you think you're going? Well, Caroline. How oh, eh, for you, and I? Call the fat controller. Bros before hers, bitch! Oh, God, never ate you, and I? George was enjoying rolling along the lane. But not the fat controller. Oil splashed everywhere. Worse was to follow. Oh God! Cried George. Who shot themselves? He veered out of control, and the fat controller landed in a muddy ditch close to where Thomas was taking on water. Gone. Just put me down. Thomas had never seen the fat controller in such a mess. Look the shape of you, lad. Asked Thomas's driver. I shaped your mile last night, you snarky wee cunt. Now get me to the pub or else I'll fist your wife too. I'm afraid our fireman's got COVID. COVID doesn't exist in that show, you nonce. Inside the fat controller. Thomas was excited. The fat controller had to work hard. Coal dust and smut flew everywhere. And at last they reached the station. Fat controller looked at the clock. Ho oh, ho, I've got an already spare! He gasped. He hurriedly picked up a huge bunch of flowers. Gay lord, called Thomas. The fat controller's wife was waiting for him. As the clock struck three, there stood Sir Topham Hat. Tired, but triumphant, he gave his wife the flowers. Well, I was going to ask if you were ready for round two, but looking like that, I'd rather shove a cactus up my arse. The fuck off, as soon as I get that food, I'm leaving this hellhole. Everyone laughed. And then the party began.